In this video, we're going to consider how we can solve a system of equations, find the solution for x and y that works in both equations. Using substitution, when we don't have an equation like x equals stuff, or y equals stuff. If we don't have that x equals or y equals, we're going to have to force it into the equation, if you will. And what we're going to have to do is isolate a lone variable. And sometimes we have the luxury of several lone variables where we can just pick any one we want. No one is better than the other. So, for example, if we're looking at 6x plus 4y equals a negative 14, and x minus 2y equals a negative 13, there's no x equals or y equals. And so what we do is we find that lone variable, in this case the x, a variable that has nothing with him. No number, no pot, no negative sign, just the variable. Because we can quickly get that variable alone. In this case, if I add 2y to both sides of the equation, I end up with x equals 2y minus 13. They're not like terms, so don't combine them. And now we have that x equals stuff that we were looking for. If x equals that stuff, the x in the other equation can be replaced with that stuff. So now instead of 6x, it's 6 times 2y minus 13 plus 4y equals negative 14. And then I just have to solve this equation. Distribute through to get 12y minus 78 plus 4y equals negative 14. Combine like terms, 16y minus 78 equals negative 14. Solve the two-step equation by adding 78 to both sides, giving us 16y equals 64. Divide both sides by 16, and y is equal to 4. Now that we have y, we still need to find our x. Just as before, to find out what x is equal to, we're going to look for an equation somewhere that says x equals. Looking very closely, we'll see our first step, we found something that said x equals. x equals 2y minus 13. x equals 2y, y is 4, minus 13. Well, we can quickly evaluate this. 2 times 4 is 8, minus 13 is negative 5. x equals negative 5. And so our solution as an ordered pair, x comma y, is negative 5 comma 4. Let's take a look at another problem where we have to do some work to find that lone variable that's equal to stuff. In example 2, there is one lone variable that would be easy to solve for. We see the y almost all alone. To get it alone, we have to get rid of the negative 5x by adding 5x to both sides of the equation. When we do, we now have y equals 5x minus 17. Now that the y is alone, we can take the stuff it equals and stick it into the other equation for the y. The other equation, 7x plus 8y, which is 5x minus 17, equals 5. And now we can start solving. First, we need to distribute the 8, so we have 7x plus 40x minus 136, yeah, equals 5. Combine like terms, 47x minus 136 equals 5. 
Solving the two-step equation by adding 136 to both sides. 47x is equal to 141. Divide both sides by 47. We should be really good at this solving part by now. x is equal to 3. We now know what x is. We still have to find y, and to do that, we're going to look for something that says y equals. To find that y equals, it's right here. y is equal to 5x minus 17. y is equal to 5x. x is 3 minus 17. 5 times 3 is 15, so y is equal to 15 minus 17, or y is equal to negative 2. So as an ordered pair, x comma y, our solution is 3 comma negative 2. If we don't have that lone variable, we can solve for it, get it alone, and then make the substitution we need to make. 